We can no longer ignore the fact that Chinese automakers are rapidly expanding their buyer space outside of the domestic market by offering competitive designs and better value for the money. One of such enterprises with a noticeable international reach is the MG brand, currently owned by SAIC. They utilize the iconic 90 years legacy of sports cars to promote affordable family vehicles. In today's episode, we'll briefly cover their latest models, listing prices and important technical details. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News to never miss informative lineup reviews. Let's start the engines! MG EHS Plug-in Hybrid In 2021, MG's European fleet is being expanded by the plug-in version of the HS Compact Crossover. Designed to look powerful and sporty, the model gets a prominent grille, cat-like DRLs with 9 LED units, aluminum skid plate, and decorative LED taillights. The drive system consists of a 1.5-liter turbo gasoline engine with 162 horses and a 122 HP motor, which is fed by a 16.6 kWh battery. The setup is good for 258 horsepower, 273 pound-feet, 32 miles in all-electric mode, and acceleration to 62 in 6.9 seconds. Each propulsion unit gets its own gearbox, a 6-speed automatic for the internal combustion, and a 4-gear electronic drive unit for the motor. The EHS offers generous interior space, gets an all-digital driver's instrumentation with 12.3-inch screen, and features the latest MG Pilot assists. MG Marvel R Electric Possibly the most attractive MG of the recent years, the Marvel R is the brand's first all-electric C-segment crossover. The model sits on a 2.8-meter wheelbase that should offer plenty of space for five passengers. It also has typical SUV proportions and debuts new styling with an X-shaped front, slim headlights, and a rear light strip that pierces the entire boot. The powertrain system consists of three motors, two on the rear and one on the front axle, allowing for all-wheel drive capability. Together, they produce 288 horses and 490 pound-feet of torque. MG also tells us performance numbers for the newcomer. The top speed is 124 mph, while the 0-60 to acceleration takes 4.9 seconds. This crossover gets standard 11 kW onboard charger, huge centrally located 19.4-inch infotainment, and digital instrumentation. MG Cyberster Best known for its sports cars, MG is returning to its roots with the Cyberster concept vehicle that is even considered for a production release. Created by MG's Advanced Design Center in London, the model draws inspiration from the original 1960s MGB Roadster, but it uses the latest materials and tech. The low sports car profile is highlighted by the LED laser belt that spans on the sides, pop-up LED headlights, and a rear light strip. MG imagines the Cyberster to be all-electric, so it should offer 500 miles of range and should be able to speed to 60 in 3 seconds. The car features two zero-gravity seats, separated by a thin partition that creates a cocoon-like layout. There is also a gamepad-style steering wheel and a floating driver's cluster. MG Hector Plus Morris Garage's foothold in India continues to strengthen, and there was a 60% Hector SUV sales growth during the last year. To consolidate these gains, MG refreshes the model's exterior and further expands the lineup with a new 7-seat Plus variant. The Hector Plus gets a bolder thermopressed front grille, gunmetal finish for the skid plates, and standard 18-inch dual-tone wheels. Future owners will have to choose between a 1.5-liter turbocharged engine, a 48-volt mild hybrid version based on the latter, or a 2.0-liter diesel. Inside the refreshed three-row boasts a 10.4-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, panoramic sunroof, ventilated front seats, 360-degree camera, six airbags, and an electric parking brake.
MG5 Electric. Though the Soul Electric station wagon went on sale just last year, MG has already prepared a facelift for the car. It introduces more modern and streamlined styling with thinner headlights, smaller grille and revised bumpers. The powertrain system also gets a boost, so the MG5 single electric motor now produces 184 horses and 206 pound-feet, 30 HP and 15 pound-feet more than before. According to MG, the range of the world's first electric station wagon rises to 249 miles, though the company does not tell us whether this is due to the increased battery size or recalibrated power maps for the motor. The battery is compatible with three-phase 11 kW AC and DC fast chargers. Smash the like button if you want to support MG in bringing more affordable car models to the market or simply to help our channel grow. Thanks in advance and let's keep going! MGZS The subcompact crossover is the best-selling MG model of today with a clear focus on the younger demographics of buyers. The latest facelift brings along new front fascia with LED headlights disconnected from the grille that itself gets a revised design. A new bumper and LED taillights decorate the rear plus 17-inch alloys further complement the modern look. This model is primarily sold under the CS moniker, but the buyer can also come across ZX and ZST name variants. The latter highlights the fact that the SUV is equipped with a new all-alloy 1.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. It provides a 40% power increase over the naturally aspirated 1.5-liter four-cylinder or the smaller 1.0-liter turbo three-cylinder, namely 155 versus around 110 horsepower. The highest drums of the MGCS can get a 7-inch digital dashboard, push-button start, 10-inch touch, multifunctional steering wheel, cruise control, and other safety assistance. MGHS Besides the plug-in version of the MG's flagship crossover, it can be ordered with more conservative 1.5 or 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinders with front-wheel drive. These make 162 and 231 horsepower and come either with a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed dual clutch. By function full LED headlights with LED DRLs, 10-spoke 18-inch alloy wheels, 450 liters of boot space, plastic cladding and 175 mm of clearance make it a confident family hauler for the city and occasional adventure-filled getaways. The model has a premium feel on the inside with lots of soft-touch materials, 10.1-inch infotainment, smartphone connectivity and a solid range of safety assists, including the MG Pilot with adaptive cruise control. It is worth mentioning that the MGHS has already been released in China with the new Pilot moniker and bolter exterior. MG3 Only a handful of other compact hatchbacks can undermine the MG3 in terms of pricing. The model gets the latest stellar field grille, distinctive halogen projector headlights with LED DRLs, a sporty bumper, a small body-colored rear spoiler, and 16-inch diamond-cut alloy wheels. There are 285 liters of boot space, including underfloor storage capacity. The basic package includes standard electric windows, Bluetooth, and a radio with a USB, while such goodies as an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment with Apple CarPlay, air conditioning, and a leather steering wheel are offered in higher trends. The power comes from a 1.5-liter four-cylinder that produces 106 horses and is mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox. MG takes a firm stand behind the reliability of the city hatchback by offering a 7-year warranty. MGZS EV If we were to exclude the miniature Dacia Spring, then the ZS EV easily steals the title of the most affordable electric crossover. Unfortunately, though, the affordable price is not without its downsides. The single charge range is somewhat underwhelming 163 WLTP miles. 
The motor is 143 horsepower and 260 pound-feet strong. The standard 8-inch infotainment is far from intuitive, yet Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are available to improve the experience. There are two trim levels, Excite and Exclusive. The latter expands the equipment package with a panoramic roof, electrically folding mirrors, leather-style upholstery, and higher-grade sound. Taking into account the ample boot space of 445 liters and standard MG Pilot driver assistance package with adaptive cruise control, this electric crossover is still a good enough buy. How do you rate the new MG car models? Can they actually compete with more conventional manufacturers, or would you rather overlook affordability in favor of better reliability and build quality? Let's talk this over in the comments section. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News not to miss the upcoming episodes. Like this one and come back shortly.